All right, crew, let's roll. Starting with our calves. Now we can have the opposite leg on the floor here to help us support, or you can have it up on top. Just depends on how sore you are. I'm gonna hold it off that leg for a little bit, and then just get all angles and get the whole length of your calf there. Try to find the sore spots, thing that's feeling a little tender. All right, then from here, we're gonna flip it over. We're gonna do the quads. So on the quad, I wanna start right there at the hip bone. Okay, and rock back and forth. Get those hip flexors loosened up. And then we'll roll all the way down the leg. Same thing here. We're just always looking for any area that doesn't feel right, sore, crunchy, knotted up. Once you find that, focus on that area. Change the positioning of the leg there as we go. Five seconds. All right, then we're gonna go on to the IT band. So on the IT band, I'm gonna start on the front corner of my leg. So toes are gonna be tilted down. Okay, and I'm gonna work that area that is the intersection between the quad muscles and the IT band. So kind of right on that front corner. Now let's go directly on the IT band. Trying to find the stuff that hurts. Down there by the knee, a lot of times we'll find a lot of junk and adhesions. And then let's go toe up. Working that hamstring IT band connection. And let's flip it up to the hamstring. Start with your toe out to the side, working that lateral hamstring. And let's go toe up. If you need a little more pressure here, go ahead and just cross the left leg over the right. Sometimes hamstrings can be a little harder to feel. And let's go toe inside, hitting the medial hamstring there. I find some tenderness in there. All right, let's go on to the glute. So you're gonna be on the right butt cheek, cross the right leg over the left, and we'll roll. We can have the roller horizontal and roll back and uh, up and down, or we can turn the roller vertical and we can roll side to side. Okay, find the one that works best for you and the one where you feel, feel the most. And then find the sore area. We're gonna flip it over and go inner thigh next. So when you flip it over, you take the roller parallel with you and then take your leg perpendicular at the hip and then we're gonna roll from the groin to the knee. Groin to knee. Put as much pressure on there as you can. Most times we're gonna feel the soreness about six inches up from the knee. Trying to step into a Kind of a plank position here, getting as much pressure on that leg as you can. All right, let's switch legs. Let's go left leg, starting with the calf. Again, to start with the toe faced out, turned out. And then just work that toe around, put as much pressure on there as you need to make sure you're getting a good kind of massage there of the muscle. All right, let's flip it over. Let's go into our quads. Starting up there by the hip bone. Rocking back and forth. And then we'll go all the way down to the knee. Lumps, bumps, pain. Find anything in there that hurts. And then focus on those areas. That's unhealthy tissue. 10 seconds. A few more rolls here on the quad. And let's go to the IT band. So we're gonna start in the front corner. So toe is gonna to be tilted down just slightly. Again, we wanna work that intersection of the quad and the IT band. Make sure that that's nice and smooth. Let's go right on the side of the leg here. Focus on the areas that hurt. And let's tilt the toe up. Nice and controlled, smooth. All right, let's go all the way over to our hamstrings now. Starting with the toe out. And let's go toe up. Central hamstring. Got three hamstring muscles back there. Working the knots out. And let's go toe in.
and let's go into our glutes. So we're on the left butt cheek, crossing the left leg over the right. Again, you can have the roller horizontal and you can roll up and down or you can have it vertical and you can roll side to side. Find the option that works best for you. Muscle fibers here go horizontally, so sometimes you want to go perpendicular to that. And let's flip it over, go inner thigh. So you're going to take it, again, want that leg up perpendicular with the body. Okay, and then we're up into a pup or plank position. And then we're just going to roll knee to groin. Put as much pressure on there as you can. Now if you find a spot that's sore, you can stop. And then you can just work the leg a little bit. You can just work that knot out. Get that tissue healthy. We're going to flip it over onto the back, going into our lats. All right, stead on the right side. You're going to put the roll right behind your armpit and then lean back just slightly. And then you can either roll up and down or if that's too much pressure or you find a knot, you can just kind of rock on it here. Just move around, find those sore spots and rock. Both options work. Just massage that tissue. Five seconds, we'll switch sides. All right, let's switch sides, going left side. Same thing right behind the armpit. Now, make sure that we're staying on the muscle here, not on the rib cage, okay? We don't want to be on the rib cage. We want to stay on that big muscle in the back. Again, we can rock back and forth or we can go up and down. Five seconds, we're going to go to T-spine extensions. All right, let's take the roller just under the shoulder blades. Okay, I'm going to keep my hips down, arms up by my head. I'm just going to extend back, hang out for a few seconds, let it open up. Come back up, scoot down a little bit so the roller goes up. Extend back over. All right, come back up. Let's do one more. Extend back over. Just kind of hang out here, let it open up. All right, now you're going to hug yourself hips up, and now we're going to roll mid-back to upper back. Now, we want to stay out of the lower back here for the most part, just working on those muscles in between the shoulder blades. Might get a few cracks here as well. Cheap chiropractor. Find those knots. Roll back and forth. All right, crew, let's get warmed up. Starting in our bird dog into glute stretch. So stomach's tight, we're gonna kick opposite arm, opposite leg, and then we're gonna sink back into our glute stretch, bringing our foot up. Okay, so from the side, opposite arm, opposite leg, kick back into our glute stretch. Just holding it there for one or two seconds, and then switching sides, bring the foot up, sink back into the hip. Switching sides, stomach is tight here. Want to make sure that we're engaging the core as we kick, opposite arm, opposite leg. And then again, kicking back into that glute stretch. Let's go one more. And then we're going to go into our Spider-Man with reach. Kick back. Okay, Spider-Man with reach. Nice pup position, step up. Push the hip down and forward. Go ahead and touch that back knee. Rotate the hand both directions. Switch, scat push-up, knee push-up, or full push-up in the middle. And switch legs. We're looking to get about six to eight reps here total. It's not fast, but not slow either. Rotate, stretch, scat push-up, knee push-up, standard push-up in the middle. A few more reps. And we're gonna go flip it over into our glute bridge with reach. Let's go one more rep. Good, and let's flip over onto our back. Glute bridge with reach, so we're gonna go toes up, Push the hips up, and then I'm going to reach across the shoulder, back down. Hips up. Once you got it down, go ahead and pick up the pace. Cranking out your reps. We're reaching over and across. Squeezing the glutes. Over and across. Opening up the upper back. Okay, I want you to dig your heels into the floor. Squeeze the hamstring, squeeze the glutes. And reach. 
Okay, we're going to go to side to side chest stretch. So we're back up onto all fours. Take your arms out to the side, and we're just going to rotate down. Take that shoulder to the floor. Stretch out the chest and the biceps. Okay, just going side to side here, holding the stretch for a few seconds. Opening up the chest and shoulders. Trying to rotate the shoulder down to the floor. A few more reps here and then we're going to stand up. We need to grab our bands. And we're going to go into our pull aparts. Three, two, and let's grab the band. And let's go pull apart. Shoulder grip or uh, shoulder width. Squeezing the shoulder blades together. Keep those shoulders down and back. Try not to let them creep up. We don't have to go super fast here. Again, just getting warmed up, working the upper back, counterbalancing all that time sitting at a desk. Okay, let's get the band all the way to the chest, trying to keep, those, keep the pinkies slightly elevated. A few more reps here, we're going to go into our shoulder dislocates in three, two, and shoulder dislocates. So grabbing the band, open up those shoulders, nice and slow through that sticky point. If you need to, you can go one arm at a time. Okay, it depends on how tight you are there. The wider your grip is, the easier it's going to be. The closer you get, the more challenging it's going to be. Stretching out that shoulder girdle. Okay, nice and easy. Pull the shoulders down and back as we go. A few more reps, we'll go into our squat to lateral lunge. In five seconds, let's go one more dislocate. And let's put our band up. Okay, we're gonna squat, good squat, and then step out into lateral squat. Back to the center, squat, lateral squat. Squat, lateral squat. Now, if you're ready for it, let's stay low the whole time. So we'll go squat into Cossack squat. Boom, okay. Otherwise, just hitting that squat. Working good squat technique and then stretching out the groin in our lateral squat. Squat, lateral squat. Trying to get a little lower every time. Five seconds, three, one more, two. All right, crew, let's knock it out. T Superman, so I'm gonna be on my belly here, but I wanna make sure that you get the arms in a T position. So T position here, and then I'm gonna squeeze them back as I go up into my Superman. So I'm down on the floor. T position, arms straight out to the side. I'm gonna pick my legs up, chest up, and arms up, squeezing that upper back before I go back down. On hip extensions, we're gonna be on our back. Toes are flexed up towards our shins. We're gonna push the hips to the sky, squeeze the glutes, dig the heels in, light touch, and back up. T plank transfers, so we're gonna start here. So good putt position, and then I'm just going to rotate my feet and my body so I get into a full T plank position, and then I'm gonna go over to the other side. I wanna make sure that my hips and my shoulders rotate at the same time. T-plank push-ups, I'm gonna start in a putt position. I'm gonna hit a push-up, then I'm gonna come up into my side T-plank, over to the other side, side T-plank. Trying to get my hips and my chest to rotate at the same time. On the sprinter start, we're gonna step back. We're gonna keep the hips a little bit higher. If you can, touch the floor and then explode back up. So I'm here, explode up. Stepping back, keeping the hips high, putting the weight on the glutes and hamstrings before I explode back up and out. Sprinter start with high knee. So I'm going to push the hips back, step back, touch the floor, explode up into a high knee, right back into it. Exploding up, boom. So I wanna feel that in the glute and the hamstring as I drive the hips back. Plyo sprinter start. So I'm gonna go into our standard sprinter, sprinter start where I'm gonna push that hip back, load the glute and the hamstring, touch the floor. I'm gonna explode up into a jump, right back into it. Explode up into a jump, right back into it. Okay, we got T Superman's arms are straight out to the side, going in three, thumbs up, two, and go. Pick the chest up, pick the arms up, 10 total. Big squeeze. And we got T-plank transfers. Push up in the middle for level threes. Transfer, try to make sure the hips move at the same time. We go five each side, so 10 total. Stomach tight. And then we're gonna go sprinter start. 10 each side. Step back, explode up. 
Add the jump for three. Arm is opposite. And 10 each side here. Squeeze the glute, extend the hip. Push the hips back. Okay, we've got T Superman's arms are straight out to the side and go. Pick the chest up, pick the arms up. 10 total. Big squeeze. Then we got T plank transfers. Push up in the middle for level threes. Transfer. Try to make sure the hips move at the same time. We go five each side, so 10 total. Stomach tight. And then we're going to go sprinter start. 10 each side. Step back, explode up. Add the jump for three. Arm is opposite. And 10 each side here. Squeeze the glute, extend the hip. Push the hips back. Okay, we've got T Superman's arms are straight out to the side and go. Pick the chest up, pick the arms up. 10 total. Big squeeze. Then we got T plank transfers. Push up in the middle for level threes. Transfer. Try to make sure the hips move at the same time. We go five each side, so 10 total. Stomach tight. And then we're going to go sprinter start. 10 each side. Step back, explode up. Add the jump for three. Arm is opposite. And 10 each side here. Squeeze the glute, extend the hip. Push the hips back. Okay, we've got T Superman's arms are straight out to the side and go. Pick the chest up, pick the arms up. 10 total. Big squeeze. Then we got T plank transfers. Push up in the middle for level threes. Transfer. Try to make sure the hips move at the same time. We go five each side, so 10 total. Stomach tight. And then we're going to go sprinter start. 10 each side. Step back, explode up. Add the jump for three. Body weight heel elevated squat. We're here. Knees are going to come forward as the hamstrings go down to the calf. Kettlebell goblet heel elevated squat. So we're going up into our goblet position. Make sure that the palms and bones are where the weight is resting. Keep the core tight, chest up. We're dropping straight down, taking those hamstrings down to our calves, driving through our heels. Suitcase heel elevated kettlebell squat. Just like we're picking up a suitcase, we want to get those hamstrings to calves or as low as we can get. Tight back, tight shoulders, driving up and out, all the way down, preferably again until those kettlebells hit the floor, really hammering the uh, quads. On the seated row, bent over row. So level ones, seated row here, we're on the floor. Take the band around the feet. We want a slight bend in the knees. Nice, tall posture in the back, shoulders down and back, squeezing the lats as we pull back. Twos and threes, we're going to be on the feet. We'll grab dumbbells or a band here. Again, we're going to get into that nice, good RDL position. Slight stretch on the hamstrings, tight back. And then we're just pulling up. Think about pulling to the hip there. So I don't want to come all the way up so that shoulder rotates so I'm here, big squeeze in the lats. Wall band low to high chops. So we're gonna have a low band here. We're gonna grab the handle. Stomach is locked in and tight. I'm just gonna take it across my body here, nice and controlled back down. So across my body, nice controlled back down. Make sure you get far enough away from the wall there where you have tension on the core as soon as you start pulling. 
Kettlebell RDL, starting out with one kettlebell. Tight back, tight shoulders, we wanna push those hips back, hinge at the hip, big hamstring stretch here, getting as low as our hamstrings take us. So if you can get all the way to the floor without your lower back rounding, then do it. If not, stop where those hamstrings get tight. 60 degree incline press, grabbing the weights, we're gonna kick them back up into position, up to shoulder height. From here, we're gonna take the elbows out a little bit further than 45 degrees, squeeze the shoulder blades together, stick the chest out. We're punching straight up and together, and they're gonna bring it down and out. Leg lifts. So we're gonna go on the floor. We wanna make sure that we're driving our lower back into the floor by getting our stomach tight. We can bend the knees here or we can go straight. Bent knees is a little bit easier variation. We're just gonna pull those legs up, touch the heels and back up. Or again, we can go straight legs, pull them up. Now, if you need to, you can put your hands under your glutes or under your lower back to help you support your core. V up. We're gonna go straight arms, straight legs. Arms are overhead. We're gonna go up, touch the toes into a V position here and then we're back down, controlled. Hands touch, feet touch, and we're back up. The straighter you can keep your arms and legs, the better. Med ball V up, we're onto our back. We're gonna grab a med ball overhead. And we're gonna bring the med ball to our feet. Here, back down. Med ball touches, feet touch, and we're back up and back down. And three, heel elevated squat, two, and let's go. Chest up, try to keep that back as straight as you can. And then we want to get down, try and get the hamstring down to the calf. Knees are going to move forward here. Still want the weight on the heels, just like any regular squat. And then when you're ready to add weight, start in goblet position. Go three. Okay, we're gonna go seated row or bent over row in three. Let's go. Tight back, tight shoulders. I like the cross the band here. A little better pull for me. Again, be it bent over or seated. Nice flat back either way. Slight bend in the knees. Shoulders down and back. And then squeeze right behind the armpit. Three, two, Wall band, low to high chop in three, two. So start low, we chop up, control it back. Explode out and up, pivot, control back. Okay, we don't want the band to rip us back. We're gonna control it back down. From the other side here, chop. Three. And three, heel elevated squat, two, and let's go. Chest up, try to keep that back as straight as you can. And then we wanna get down, try and get the hamstring down to the calf. Knees are gonna move forward here. Still want the weight on the heels, just like any regular squat. And then when you're ready to add weight, start in goblet position, go three,
Okay, we're gonna go seated row or bent over row in three. Let's go. Tie back, tie shoulders. I like to cross the band here. A little better pull for me. Again, be it bent over or seated. Nice flat back either way. Slight bend in the knees. Shoulders down and back. And then squeeze right behind the armpit. Three, two, Wall band, low to high chop in three, two. So start low, we chop up, control it back. Explode out and up, pivot, control back. Okay, we don't want the band to rip us back. We're gonna control it back down. The other side here, chop. Three. And three, heel elevated squat. Two, and let's go. Chest up, trying to keep that back as straight as you can. And then we want to get down, try and get the hamstring down to the calf. Knees are going to move forward here. Still want the weight on the heels, just like any regular squat. And then when you're ready to add weight, start in goblet position. So three. Okay, we're gonna go seated row or bent over row in three. Let's go. Tie back, tie shoulders. I like to cross the band here. A little better pull for me. Again, be it bent over or seated. Nice flat back either way. Slight bend in the knees. Shoulders down and back. And then squeeze right behind the armpit. Three, two, Wall band, low to high chop in three, two. So start low, we chop up, control it back. Explode out and up, pivot, control back. Okay, we don't want the band to rip us back. We're gonna control it back down. The other side here, chop. Three. And three, heel elevated squat. Two, and let's go. Chest up, trying to keep that back as straight as you can. And then we want to get down, trying to get the hamstring 
down to the calf. Knees are going to move forward here. Still want the weight on the heels, just like any regular squat. And then when you're ready to add weight, start in goblet position. So three. Okay, we're gonna go seated row or bent over row in three. Let's go. Tie back, tie shoulders. I like the cross the band here. A little better pull for me. Again, be it bent over or seated. Nice flat back either way. Slight bend in the knees. Shoulders down and back. And then squeeze right behind the armpit. Three, two, Wall band, low to high chop in three, two. So start low, we chop up, control it back. Explode out and up, pivot, control back. Okay, we don't want the band to rip us back. We're gonna control it back down. The other side here, chop. Three. Okay, we're going to go RDLs in three, two, let's go. Just remember on the RDL, tight back, tight shoulders, pushing the hips back. Slight, only a slight bend in the knee. Working the hamstring and glutes here, posterior chain. Also lower back. Keep the core braced. Shoulders back. Lock it in. Mind muscle connection, you get more out of it. Three. Sixty degree incline press in three, two, and go. Shoulders down and back. Elbows are going to go a little bit wider here. To forty-five degrees. Make sure we get a good stretch on the chest. Controlling it down. We're going to go down, out, and then up together. Down, out, up together. Stick three. One more. <clears throat> Okay, we got our V-ups in three, two, and go. Bring your arms and legs up at the same time. If you can't quite do that, you got a few options. You go one arm, one leg, switching. Okay, or you can just go straight, reverse crunch leg lifts here. Okay, we're not moving the upper body at all. Your call here. V-up. Or you can add a weight.
Okay, we're going to go RDLs in three, two, let's go. So remember on the RDL, tight back, tight shoulders, pushing the hips back. Slight, only a slight bend in the knee. Working the hamstring and glutes here, posterior chain. Also lower back. Keep the core braced. Shoulders back. Lock it in. Mind muscle connection, you get more out of it. Three. Sixty degree incline press in three, two, and go. Shoulders down and back. Elbows are going to go a little bit wider here. It's been forty five degrees. Make sure we get a good stretch on the chest. Controlling it down. We're going to go down, out, and then up together. Down, out, up together. Stick three. One more. <clears throat> Okay, we got our V-ups in three, two, and go. Bring your arms and legs up at the same time. If you can't quite do that, you got a few options. You go one arm, one leg, switching. Okay, or you can just go straight, reverse crunch leg lifts here. Okay, we're not moving the upper body at all. Your call here. V-up. Or you can add a weight. Okay, we're going to go RDLs in three, two, let's go. So remember on the RDL, tight back, tight shoulders, pushing the hips back. Slight, only a slight bend in the knee. Working the hamstring and glutes here, posterior chain. Also lower back. Keep the core braced. Shoulders back. Lock it in. Mind muscle connection, you get more out of it. Three. Sixty degree incline press in three, two, and go. Shoulders down and back. Elbows are going to go a little bit wider here. It's been forty-five degrees. Make sure we get a good stretch on the chest. Controlling it down. We're going to go down, out, and then up together. Down, out, up together. Stick three. One more. <clears throat> Okay, we got our V-ups in three, two, and go. Bring your arms and legs up at the same time. If you can't quite do that, you got a few options. You go one arm, one leg, switching. Okay, or you can just go straight, reverse crunch leg lifts here. Okay, we're not moving the upper body at all. Your call here. V-up. Or you can add a weight.
Okay, we're gonna go RDLs in three, two, let's go. So remember on the RDL, tight back, tight shoulders, pushing the hips back. Slight, only a slight bend in the knee. Working the hamstring and glutes here, posterior chain. Also lower back. Keep the core braced. Shoulders back. Lock it in. Mind muscle connection, you get more out of it. Three. Sixty degree incline press in three, two, and go. Shoulders down and back. Elbows are going to go a little bit wider here. So forty five degrees. Make sure we get a good stretch on the chest. Controlling it down. We're going to go down, out, and then up together. Down, out, up together. Stick three. One more. <clears throat> Okay, we got our V-ups in three, two, and go. Bring your arms and legs up at the same time. If you can't quite do that, you got a few options. You go one arm, one leg, switching. Okay, or you can just go straight, reverse crunch leg lifts here. Okay, we're not moving the upper body at all. Your call here. V-up. Or you can add a weight. Right, crew, good job. Let's own it on three. One, two, three. Own it.